r slash ask reddit doctors of reddit what are some of your anti-vax parents stories not a doctor but a story i heard stuck with me the head of pediatrics from a toronto hospital i forgot which one was giving a talk and told a story about how early in her practice she had a little boy in for his scheduled vaccines and was answering the nervous mother's questions the mother planned to go ahead with the vaccines but had heard lots of anti-vax propaganda and so she was worried and had lots of questions while they were talking but before they administered the vaccines the poor little kid suffered a grand mal seizure it was really bad the kid ended up getting admitted to the hospital and suffered a fairly serious brain injury it occurred to the pediatrician much later that if that seizure had hit 10 minutes later or if the appointment had been 10 minutes earlier nothing would have ever convinced that poor mother that it wasn't the vaccine that caused the seizure had a kid come in for generic upper respiratory virus asked mom if he was vaccinated as is routine she said no when i asked why not her response was well my boyfriend was vaccinated and he still got meningitis so they don't even work i told her that's the same as saying your friend got bruised by a seatbelt in a car accident so you don't wear them when you drive we had a 14 year old female come in for abdominal pain one time she weighed 80 pounds looked sickly her mother refused to let her eat anything but a handful of things nothing with very much protein at all she literally had a binder full of articles about how horrible vaccines are all the bad things they put in food these days etc she had completely brainwashed this kid so the kid believed it too her labs showed malnutrition her teeth were horrible just a sad case all around had a five or six years old patient who had a super hippie mom no reason for not vaccinating other than she doesn't want to despite counseling many times a kid also had asthma and would consistently come in for exacerbations despite prescribing appropriate controller meds the amount of exacerbations just didn't make sense one day i sent my student to see him first while i call the pharmacy to see if his meds were received the student came back saying I can't get a history from mom. She's literally falling asleep while talking to me. Also, pharmacy said the meds haven't been picked up from the last three visits. That was enough for me to call CPS. Mom was on drugs. Living situation deplorable. Last I heard, kid was moved to an aunt who caught him up with age appropriate vaccines. When I was a med student, I had a parent who wanted to do a delayed vaccination schedule. Basically it means that you get all the same vaccinations but you pointlessly and foolishly do it over a longer time period. The mom had read a book promoting this practice that was unfortunately written by an MD. My pediatric attending had zero chill. Is that the book written by Dr? Question mark? Yes. Well. Then you should know that I was in the same medical school class as doctor but I got much better scores than he did. Not a doctor but so. Significant other. Works with children that have autism. She has one parent that consistently tells her she regrets vaccinating her kid. She then asks questions to my so about which vaccines are the ones that cause autism as if it's a big secret. My so tells her that autism is predetermined before birth and signs just aren't noticeable until around 2 years of age. She still tries to justify her logic with other antivaxx parents stories from FB. My so has two master's degrees towards this field. It blows my mind how they can still argue with overwhelming facts. I'm not a doctor, but an RN in public health. I recently had a mother call me to ask me if it was a smart idea for her child should get the MMR vaccine. Why was she asking this? She was worried that would make his autism worse. Nearly qualified pharmacist here. So obligatory not a doctor. Our pharmacy offers travel vaccines for people going away to countries with a high likelihood of severe tropical disease. Star parenting goes to the parents who got themselves vaccinated for rabies. But not their two primary school age. Elementary. For non-Brits. Children. In medical school I saw a kiddo whose parents refused vaccines and so when they were given the vaccine refusal form to sign. This form essentially said that the parents understood that refusing vaccines was against medical advice, that their kiddo could get sick from all those preventable diseases, and that they wouldn't hold the doctor slash practice liable for any complications that the kiddo may get from said preventable diseases. This mom pulled out a sharpie and blacked out the part about the doctor not being held liable. 
The parents thought that we'd be cool with them just changing that form just for them and they wanted the doctor to be held liable for their moronic choice. Of course this didn't work and they were told to sign the form or they would be discharged from the practice and have to find another. They refused to sign and were told to leave after given a list of other pediatricians in the area. Med school student here. I was getting my hair cut and I was talking to the babra about how more people should get the new meningitis B vaccine since I know a person who got meningitis B and almost died. But the desk lady went off about how vaccines are dangerous and pretty much every single anti-vax talking point. I explained the actual facts behind vaccines and said that I'm studying medicine. I think I might know what I'm talking about and then she went off about professors not knowing what they are talking about and that they just teach what they are told to teach so that we can all be brainwashed into supporting the big pharmaceutical companies and that my proof were all fabricated by them. Edit. Someone told me we made it into YouTube. Not a doctor, but a nurse and a vaccine advocate. Once had a public argument with a friend from long ago. He argued that by not vaccinating his kids and risking terrible side effects and possible autism, he was placing no one else at risk, however acknowledged the potential risk to his kids. After attempting to explain the potential risk to others and him failing to understand, I created an analogy which I still use to this day. Imagine if my kids and your kids get into the same car. Both of your kids don't put on seatbelts. Therefore, if there is an accident, there is an increased risk that your kids will die and also harm my children in the process. This seemed to click with him and he doesn't share his anti-vac propaganda on social media anymore. Good analogy. It's like not wearing your seatbelt because you're worried you could get trapped in your car after an accident. It's astronomically more likely you will be killed in an accident. But hey at least you have avoided the minuscule risk of being trapped in a burning car by your seatbelt. Not directly related to my being a doctor. But a mutual friend of mine and my wife's is a chiropractor and anti-vaxxer, refused to vaccinate her first two kids. I didn't want her or her kids coming anywhere near our place when we had newborns or kids, too because of the risk her unvaccinated kids placed on my partially vaccinated babies. She got all offended saying the usual rubbish like if vaccines work. What do your kids have to fear? And your kids are more risk to mine because they'll be shedding viruses. Her third child was born with cystic fibrosis, which makes them very susceptible to all forms of respiratory and airborne infectious diseases. Suddenly the whole hypocritical family is vaccinated against everything. It'll tell a different kind of story. I am in a doc and recently had this interaction with a patient. Adult male comes in with fever. He comes back positive for the flu. Me. You have the flu. I will write you for a prescription for Tamiflu. Patient. Doesn't that cause autism? This guy couldn't even remember that it was vaccines that reportedly cause autism. And he couldn't remember that it wasn't the flu vaccine. And of course he is wrong about vaccines causing autism. And he is a grown ass adult that thinks he will suddenly be autistic. Not a doctor. But I worked at a children's hospital in research. At the time as a coordinator, a bunch of us were sitting in our office space talking about medical care of some sort casually. I think maybe flu vaccines. And one coordinator's cuts in. Well, I don't know if you've seen the recent research, but there are a number of issues with vaccines that make them unsafe. They are highly correlated with autism. The room got quiet because everyone was polite. One person said oh, I heard that, I think, in an effort to not alienate the girl. I responded, that's not true because I couldn't not say that. She said yeah, I'll send you the link. I said I think I've probably read the study. It's been rescinded. Then it got more awkward. This was probably 2017. I just couldn't believe that in 2017, a person whose job it is to understand research at a hospital with children can fall victim to bad research that has not been supported by any reputable source since probably the 90s. I'm not a medical doctor but a mental health therapist. Went to do a new client intake and while asking the mother about the kid's medical history, vaccination records etc she said he was not vaccinated because vaccines cause autism and she didn't want to risk her son getting it. And then when I went to meet the kid within 5 seconds of laying eyes on him I could tell. He was autistic. Worst part was that when I told her she became very upset and started yelling at her husband saying he must have gotten the kid secretly vaccinated and then immediately ran out the house and took the kid to the emergency room for testing and just 
Left me and the dad in the living room just kind of staring at each other. They never answered my calls or texts again after that and I had to get DCF involved. I work in a neonatal IQ. Our neonatologists also work as the pediatricians for the healthy newborns. Our medical director asked me to come with her to a mom's room because she anticipated some issues after speaking with the mom's nurse. MD. Explains the importance of vaccinations. Vitamin K. And the state NBS. Mom. Absolutely not. You need to do your research. MD. I'm double board certified. Have a MD and a PhD in biomedical engineering. Have 30 years of experience and I'm the medical director for this hospital's pediatrics neonatal department. I am published in over a dozen journals. I assure you the risks are minimal and the benefits outweigh them for the safety of your child. Mom. I bet Big Pharma paid you to say that. I feel like Family Guy said it best. There's an episode where Lois and Peter kidnap this child to get him to a hospital because the parents believe prayer will heal their kid. So Lois eventually has to confront them and says something like maybe the vaccines and medicines are God's answer to your prayers. So why keep praying if you're going to wipe your ass with his reply? When I was a medical student, I had a 5 year old patient who looked and acted like a 2 year old. Failure to thrive. His mother was super super weird. She shaved the sides of his head, somehow like a marine cut, but kept his back hair long. She refused to vaccinate him or even feed him certain foods. Her sister and her husband were trying to get custody of the child because his mother was weird and didn't take care of him properly. I suspect she was paranoid. She would literally fight and call you names if you attempt to suggest to put the kid on a proper hospital diet. She wanted to inspect the food first and make sure he eats only certain things. Long story short the attending calling county and they took the child away from her. Edit. Thank you for those who pointed out that the haircut is called a mullet cut. Another point to add. He was admitted for a fracture which was really worrisome in a kid that age. Unfortunately I don't know what happened to the kid after they took him away. But he's definitely better off. Not a doctor. Yet. But a med school student. A fellow student of mine is very happy about not being completely vaccinated. She is also happy. That our country. Germany. Is still a free country considering vaccination. Since she believes that they don't really work. At this point I'd like to remind you. That she is a medical student. And at least once a year. We have to have a medical checkup. To make sure. Our mandatory vaccinations are in order. Simply because we're studying and working at a hospital with a lot of immunocompromised patients. Anyway. She was happy to inform me. That she only got the vaccinations that were absolutely mandatory. So she got no tetanus shot for example. And she believes she will never get tetanus. Simply because she doesn't want to. And she believes that is enough. Since our minds are so capable of healing our bodies. If we let them go free. For example by using hallucinogenic drugs. Luckily that can only harm her and no others. I'm really not a bad person. But I kind of hope. She cuts her foot on a rusty nail and gets a little bit of tetanus. Nothing that will kill her or in any way have a lasting effect on her. Besides maybe convincing her that vaccinations work. I really don't want her to become a doctor. Ro. You made it to the end. You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content moite. It's free and that's a great price.